I guess I just wonder, how do you think we begin to make this stuff more clear? What do yeah. you want to know? Because if people say, well, he had the guy who created mRNA on that's bad, and it's like, no one has said mRNA is bad. What? Yeah. You know, no yeah. mRNA has nothing to do with DNA at all. So, so what are, I guess, two questions really. What are some of the facts you want people to know about mRNA that maybe you've repeated a hundred times in your weekly AMAs, but some people here won't have heard it? And, and what are, what are the ways you think we can see each other and, and kind of get to the other side of, of the arguments that aren't helping any of us, but that are making a couple of people a lot of money? Well, I, I'm going to answer the second one first, because I don't think it's something we should ignore in the fact that one of the very disingenuous motivations of Robert Malone's claims is to be considered, and this is on his website as of this morning, it's still on there, as the original inventor of mRNA and DNA vaccine technology. And that is a false self-proclaimed title. This process, nobody is denying the fact that this man holds multiple patents in the process of getting to where we are today. But you have to think about the process of getting to where we are today as a long process that took 